Quadro orders are under-actuated systems, which means to change the direction of thrust, the attitude of the vehicle has to change. Specifically, roll and pitch are controlled by differences in thrust between opposite motors, whereas yaw is controlled by the weak reactive torque of the rotors. As such, aggressive yawing motions can often destabilize the quadrotor's movement due to excessive acceleration or deceleration of the motors. Controlling both translational and yawing motions using a traditional monolithic policy presents significant challenges because these motions have distinct dynamic characteristics and are strongly coupled. Also, training a large single network often requires a large amount of training data, which can be inefficient and difficult to achieve. To address these challenges, we propose a modular reinforcement learning framework. By breaking down the control problem into separate translational and yawing components, we reduce the complexity of the learning process and enable more precise and stable control. Our benchmark results clearly show the advantages of the modular framework. It achieves the faster convergence and superior performance compared to the monolithic policy. The parallel training of specialized modules leads to more efficient learning, whereas the monolithic policy has to learn all aspects of control sequentially and simultaneously, resulting in slower training. For low desired yaw rates, such as 5 degrees per second, both masses demonstrate satisfactory position tracking and heading accuracy. However, as the desired yaw rate increases, the performance of the monolithic policy degrades due to its tightly coupled nature. On the other hand, our modular policies maintain robust position tracking regardless of yaw rates, highlighting the benefits of a decoupled approach. Next, we compared monolithic and modular policies at different yaw rates in the real world. In the videos, the quadrotor's heading direction is indicated by yellow lights. For low yaw rates, such as 5 degrees per second, both methods showed compatible position and heading tracking performance. However, as the yaw rate increased, such as 40 degrees per second, the monolithic policy's position tracking got worse. This happens because the control of yaw, pitch, and roll is interconnected, meaning that changes in one axis can directly affect the others. In contrast, our modular policies remained unaffected, showing how reliable and robust our approach is. In conclusion, our modular reinforcement learning framework greatly improves quadrotor control by decoupling the translational and yawing components. This not only accelerates the learning process, but also ensures more stable and precise control even at higher yaw rates. Thank you for your attention, and please feel free to contact us if you have any questions.